Wipeouts have been a great way to make text notes and labels stand out on drawings for a long time now. In this case, we see a wipeout obscuring some extraneous hatching and object lines to really make that text note stand out. But the problem is, in order to work with wipeouts, their frame, which is this controlling line around it, had to be visible in order for you to select the wipeout and move it around or manipulate it in any way. And the problem with having that wipeout frame visible is that it's by definition printable. So AutoCAD 2013 addresses this issue with an expansion of the system variable wipeout frame. Now historically, the wipeout frame variable has had either a value of zero, which means you do not see the frames, or one, which means you do see the frames, but they also plot. 2013 expands this to now accept a value of two so that the wipeout frame will now be visible, selectable, and you can work with it easily. However, it will not print. And this is a new functionality that's very welcome. Another way to get at this is when you're actually creating a wipeout, you'll see that the frames option pops up here. I'll select that as a selectable option. And you'll see that we have the on, off, and display but not plot controls. And this is analogous to wipeout frame one, zero, and two respectively. So the change in AutoCAD 2013 is to have this ability to display your wipeout frames but not plot them. Very nifty feature.